Hello everyone, this is Linkmas Prime, and today we are taking a look at the Transformers Rise of the Beast mainline Voyager class Rhinox. And before we look at the figure, I actually want to take a quick look to just appreciate this box. Um, my gripe, again, the lack of plastic coverage. Um, it deeply angers me. But, um, you know, the package itself is very nice in my opinion. We get a nice image of Rhinox. We get Rhinox Transformers Rise of the Beast. Transformers, the Maximal logo right here. We get Hasbro 6 up. We get there, that Maximal logo right here up top. We get the bio for Rhinox. I kind of miss when we got the little, uh, you know, the little kind of, um, what's it? Uh, description for the character, but we don't get that. Uh, we kind of get that for Studio Series, but nothing here, unfortunately. We get a picture of Rhinox at the um, side, and uh, something here, Voyager Class, Class A Voyager, Voyager Class A, Class A Voyager, uh, yeah. Um, and we get some words and stuff at the bottom that I can and can't read, and at the top we have a Transformers Rise of the Beast in a very cool looking fiery background. Uh, but yeah, so that is pretty much it for the box. So yeah, so let us move on to the figure itself. Rhinox here looks very, very nice in my opinion. Um, it's not 100% accurate to uh, how he looks in the film, uh, but it is uh, accurate to concept art, I'm pretty sure, at least as, as far as I know, because uh, there are some elements that do look pretty concept art-y, I guess. Uh, but, you know, uh, just detail-wise, really, really cool. We get some nice rough texturing here uh, for the skin. We get some silver for... Uh, the horn, well, kind of a silverish gold for the horn because it doesn't really match the other silver, but we get silver for the ears, for the face, a metallic green for the eyes, which looks really nice. We get that on both sides. We get some chain detail, which is pretty interesting in my opinion. Uh, we get this kind of like hydraulic detail, I guess, which is interesting. Get some more molded detail on the legs and on the sides of the body. And then we have the, the elephant in the room. Or should I say the rhino in the room? Ha, okay, I'm going to stop now. Um, but yeah, uh, a lot of people aren't really a fan of that. I don't care. I don't think anyone's going to be paying attention to uh, that. But, uh, you know, it, it's 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 a thing. It's, it's a thing. Uh, but yeah, so lots of nice detail. Not too much painted detail, but what is there just works really well. Uh, but yeah, uh, some features that we do have, uh, there is articulation, the uh, mouth can't open so you can recreate that, uh, yeah, um, so, but you have that, the head can move up and down, no swivel or anything like that, that's really about it for the head, the arms uh, can move out like so and like so, they can rotate back and forth, not too much, um, and that's really about it, and then we just have little pivots in the feet and that's really about it so articulation wise it's minimal but what is there works and yeah but i like it now something pretty interesting that we do have is rhinox does come with two weapons uh they are painted in a very nice metallic green and silver and they are on these little parts right here which do have a lot of nice molded detail and they spin which is really cool i like when i like when things spin uh but there are tabs a uh, little kind of three millimeter ports on the sides just peg that in there and peg that in there and Rhinox can do that to his enemies, I guess. Which, sure, why not? Why not? Uh, but yeah, so interesting weapon storage. Not the best, but it works. Now in terms of the transformation, all we're going to really do is just come around here to the back, untab this like so. Come around here, untab this section in the back like that and take these sections and just untap them, these little panels right here in the back, like so, okay, uh, like so and like so, and bring uh, these sections around. There is a, a slot right here and a tab right here, and just peg that in there like that. The uh, rhino leg will come in, there's a little tab right here and a slot right here, and you'll just hear that click into place. Bring the foot down, flip out the toe like so, bring the leg down, uh, and then there's a tab here, slot here, and ro uh, just kind of flip that into place, lock it in place, rotate this around, do the same thing for this leg, that, 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 come on, there we go, and that up, close that, 
rotate that around. And last but not least, just rotate the waist around like so. So there we have the legs and lower tor torso all done. Next, uh, this is a bit of a hard step in my opinion. So we're gonna bring the arm out and then we're gonna take this whole section right here. And actually, you know what? I should probably do this first. Take the head, bring it up, bring this down, cording it down, and that'll kind of free up some space here because uh, this part is a little bit weird. So this whole assembly right here is going to rotate down into place and you have to make sure that this little tab locks into this little slot right here. And when you do that, it'll just, it's supposed to, what it's supposed to do is lock into place. But because of how the arm is, that is really a hard task to accomplish. So just kind of bring that down. Oh, there we go. Okay, actually, this is a quick, simple fix. Rotate the arm this way before bringing it down. So bring this up and rotate this down. That'll help to lock it in. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, that's what you're gonna wanna do. Uh, next, bring out the fists, uh, bring the arms down, rotate the uh, bicep, not really the bicep, but the elbow around. Bring that down, rotate the elbow around, bring out the fist. And so there we have the arms all done. And then last but not least, what we're gonna do is take this section, untab it, flip that in, bring all of this down like so. And it uh, there's a little tab right here that will lock into place. And finally, rotate the head around. And here we have Rhinox in his robot mode. And this is my favorite Rhinox figure ever. Um, yes, I know we are getting the Studio Series uh, figure, but if I wanted like a G like a G1 Beast Wars style uh, Rhinox, Kingdom is a pain in the you know what uh, when it comes to its transformation. This was a fun and simple transformation, and I love it. The only issue is those um, just those little shoulders or not shoulders, but like the underarms. But that in itself can also be fixed because I. I just found a way to fix that, but uh, yeah, it looks so good, uh, but just moving in on the detail We do have silver for the face. It's kind of hard to see but the eyes are actually green um, So that is pretty nice. We get you know Same detail we got in rhino mode. We get some detail that was hidden in rhino mode So we get some silver right here for the abdomen section. We get uh, some more kind of molded detail um, on the chest and on the crotch and all that kind of stuff Silver for the forearms, which looks very nice, and pretty much, excuse me, the same detail that we got in uh, Rhino mode. And now, uh, it doesn't clean up the best, uh, but it's not, it doesn't clean up the worst, uh, and I, I, I do like how this looks because, you know, Rhinox, he's supposed to be a chonky character, so this just works in my opinion. Uh, for Rhinox, but yeah, just a great figure in my opinion. Now a cool feature is actually back here We have this little horn section which can pop off it's just a bit hard to get uh, But it can pop off like so and we can take this and Peg that into the shoulder like so and I really actually like it the way that that looks um, And another thing you can do is if you want to because why not I guess you peg it into the hand and be a dagger or something or some kind of murder i don't know weapon i guess but yeah there's that and of course he can also hold his little spinny saw blade thingies of death and like so and like so and that is rhinox this is the rhinox that i know and they Hasbro did a really good job on this figure, in my opinion. There's just no going wrong with, with a Rhinox figure, and, well, except for Kingdom, but, you know, they did this one really well, in my opinion, and I just absolutely love it. Now, in terms of Rhinox's articulation, we do get quite a bit. Uh, the head is only on a swivel. There's really no ball joint, but, you know, that's, that's decent, in my opinion. Arms can swivel all the way around, move out that much and in that much. We do have a swivel at the uh, elbow, a bend at the elbow, and a not as I don't think we have a swivel at the wrist. Yeah, we don't. Uh, but I guess you can bend it in. I guess so there's, there's that. Um, we do have a swivel at the waist, which doesn't work the best, and that's because of all this going on in the back. So there's that. Uh, the legs can kick forward about that much. Back not too much. There is a fix for that. Just simply bring all this back, and there you go. You have that. 
not the best <laughs> demonstration, but you know, apparently the, the actual fix is untabbing this section right here and folding it up because apparently that's accurate and then just folding this down and there you go and there you have your fix but uh, I don't I don't know uh, so I just keep that down there like that but uh, yeah so legs can uh, kick forward that much you know they can uh, split like that um, they can there is a swivel at the um, the thigh joint there is a bend at the knee which is on an interesting angle in my opinion but yeah um, so there's that uh, and then we do have a very nice pivot at the ankle and a slight downward toe bend, I guess you can count that, uh, but yeah. So articulation for this figure is very nice. Now, obviously I will be getting the Studio Series figure, um, but uh, now I, I didn't have, I did not pre-order uh, Studio Series Rhinox. I did, however, pre-order the Studio Series uh, Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. So uh, that should be coming in whenever it will. Um, apparently August, but I have a feeling it'll be sooner than that. I hope I didn't jinx that. Um, but, you know, uh, for a Rhinox figure for Rise of the Beast, I'm fine with this one for now, just as like a stand-in. I'm planning on collecting all the mainline and Studio Series stuff, because I like, uh, you know, the mainline stuff kind of reminds me of like a concept art line, where a Studio Series is supposed to be accurate, which they kind of didn't do well with that with some of the figures for Studio Series, considering that most of them were based on concept art, not the actual final boom, you know. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, I, I really, really like this figure, um, and I would highly recommend it. It was only about $35, you know, basic Voyager class price, so, uh, you know, you can find them at your local Walmart, and um, pretty decent figure in my opinion. Um, but, uh, anyways, guys, that is about it for this review. I hope you all enjoy. Uh... I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.